is Love Always Indoors. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to just be a quick tutorial on how I achieve this hairstyle. Um, I don't really have anything else to say besides that. If y'all have any questions for me, please put them in the comment box below. Otherwise, enjoy the video. So as you can see here, I'm starting off with a little bit of water and uh, following that up with some Garnier Fruity Sleep-In Conditioner. My hair was previously wet. I am fresh out of the shower, but after getting dressed, it started drying a little. So there's some coconut oil there. I'm gonna rub that in. That's sealing in our cream, sealing in that moisture. And I went back in with some of my spray leave-in, the Oyen Juice and Berries, and that can be found at Target, by the way. Last but not least, before I get to the styling process, um, I use a little bit of Eco Styler Gel. That one there is the Argan Oil Eco Styler Gel, but I since then have moved on to the new Coconut Oil Eco Styler. <laughs> From here, I use my sponge and I just go in circular motions, applying just a little bit of pressure, um, enough to help the curls to kind of clump together and form. As you can see, I kind of went back in on one of my edges with some more water and some more gel and then did the sponge again. I found that the sides of my head require a little bit of extra attention because of my curl pattern and my hair texture. So here is when I come through with my um, rat tail comb and just try to get myself a good straight part. I realize I make some really awful wincing faces in the mirror. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're not cute at all, but um, I, I didn't notice them until this video, to be completely honest. Oh, looks like I started over. All right, that's how it is sometimes. <laughs> so uh, I started over, and I think what happened was I wanted to get my part pushed down a little bit more. On my head, I think it was too close towards the center. So then I go ahead and take my toothbrush. It is a toothbrush. It's not an edge brush. Obviously, it's never been used, and... I use it to brush down my edges and then I take my duckbill clips to hold it in place and I'm basically going to leave that in my hair until it's time for me to leave the house even though sometimes I do forget it in my hair and I walk into work and I have to stick them in my purse real quick so it does it does happen so now as you can see I'm just applying a little bit of gel to my edges and I'm going to use that toothbrush to slick those babies down one thing I have noticed since I've recently cut my hair is that Prior to cutting my hair, when my hair was longer, I never did anything at all with my edges. I pulled everything straight back. So this is the first time I've been playing around with baby hairs, and I must admit, I've, I've really been enjoying the experience. Um, sometimes I get fancy with my sideburns. I have to take my glasses off. Um, I try to do either little J's or little squiggly lines, just whatever I'm feeling at the moment. I've learned that when I don't do my sideburns, I feel incomplete. I missed out on doing my sideburns the other day and I felt naked, almost like I didn't have earrings on or something. It was, it was really interesting. <laughs> so those are pretty much the finishing touches. I'm just kind of giving it a look-see and that is how everything looks. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to put them in the comment box and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Without further ado, here's the finished look. <laughs> 